Everybody put here as a date when he's gonna go. I know how you feel, Frank. Trust me, I know how you feel. We'll bring you back after you get your car. Hey everybody, this is Lisa 101, JP. That's Public Enemy 59, down below or across. And of course, we have the man behind the magic, Elias Jarex 4. Uh, we are the Three Way Podcast and we are bringing you the Hump Day Show. So for today's Hump Day Show, we want to go ahead and we want to cover a movie that has come out recently with one of the best directors, I believe, of all time, which is Martin Scorsese. Um, he has come out with a movie on Netflix called The Irishman. Now, it's based, it's based on a book called We Paint Houses. Or Do You Paint Houses? Do you paint something, houses? Like, something like that. You're a fool. So it's based on a mobster, um, a mobster event, I guess, that happened in real life based on the a, a union that was run by Jimmy Hoffa. Now, I'm not that old. So I don't know who Jimmy Hoffa is. Nah, you old. Nah, you old. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> so I don't know what it is, but it's based around this this Irishman who uh, who's just you know earning his day to day pay, and he runs into this mobster who's the head of a crime syndicate, um, and uh, they get yeah. along. Yeah, it, it's r- r- Russell. Really long. Russell. Russell is yeah, Russell. so some of the actors in here we got Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Correct. Joe Pesci, Harvey Keitel, Ray Romano. Ray Romano was like, What are you serious? Though? He was only in for like a couple of scenes, though. It wasn't a big, big, big I like him. Uh, like we, we had, Ray we Ray had, Ray had Ray. uh, it was a lot, dude. We had it Jesse Plummins from Breaking Bad. Hey, Mr. Yes. White, do such a roll your car. <laughs> there's, there's so much to cover. This movie is three and a half hours long, so I'll try to keep my review to a minimum. Um, so the movie's about this mob syndicate and and who's trying to control the unions of a certain jobs at that point in time during the fifties, uh, where they were able to control a lot of money, a lot of pension and use that to open Vegas casinos and whatnot. Uh, and the movie is surrounding this, this, this Irishman who, um, moves up and becomes very good friends with Russell, who's like a crime boss, uh, mob boss. And, um, it tells a story of how he comes up and what he does to survive in that type of environment and how it affects his family and, and, and whatnot. Yeah, they so, show that, that, that him, uh, then uh, Frank and Russell, like, uh, they met by fate. And then all of a sudden, like, it just popped off for them. Like, they were, like, best of buds. Everything was great. Uh, and then it came to the moment where Frank needed some money because uh, he, got, he lost his job because uh, he was actually stealing meat. And then Russell... Russell just happened to be like, uh, like, uh, cousins to Ray Romano's character, I believe. Correct. And like that was that was again like serendipitous. I mean, not only did they meet on the middle of the road in the middle of it nowhere, it was a coinky dink. It was a coinky dink. And then they meet later on, and they become they become best buds. You know, it's, it's a really it's a really family friendly movie, actually. Yeah, it's it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it is not heavy on action. This is drama at its best. There's not a lot of action. It's more of you watching Joe Pesci. Uh, um, you know, you're watching um, Robert it's, De Niro. Yeah, it's Al like Pacino a it's like act. a re, like a reunion of the sorts too. Correct. You know what I really didn't like though was that uh, we didn't see more movies that involved Robert De Niro and Al Pacino together. And They're that's so sad. good together, man. Yeah, yeah, it's sad, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, they did this movie, um, so as I said, that's basically the sum of it. It's just based on the life of this Irishman, which is Al Pacino's character going through this mafia madness um, mm-hmm. and what he has to do to survive. And, of course, Al Pacino is Jimmy Hoffa, mm-hmm. uh, who's in charge of this union. He goes to prison, comes back, he wants to earn it. But the mob bosses are like, nah, bruh, so your time well, is Well, yeah, let's, let's talk about uh, the things we didn't like then. Okay, so um, – uh, the things I didn't like, there were some scenes that were dragged out. Lord Jesus, they were dragged <laughs> out. 
they did not have to be that long. I mean, they were dragged out, but that's Martin Scorsese. He he takes his time. Um, so that's one of the things I didn't like. Uh, another thing I didn't like was the aging mac- mechanism that they had. Oh, the CGI I, on the aging? You didn't like that? I didn't. I, I didn't see the point. I didn't see them get young or old. I thought that yeah, was they exactly. got younger. Nah. Yeah, because like throughout the movie, you see Robert De Niro's character pretty much like is telling the story for per- first person. Yeah, and like actually, that was another thing too. Like you never see who he's telling the story to, but I assume it's, is the author of the of the book. Correct, it is, it is. So I mean, that's what I didn't like. Uh, uh, I mean, I'll give you a third one. Um, I didn't like the actor for Peggy. Um, she was pointless. Her character was pointless. You know, I heard I heard a lot of people were upset that they used her in her caliber because they didn't. She didn't really say nothing. She didn't say shit. Right. She was just like, this is this is our whole role. <laughs> yeah, like a left and right. <laughs> that, that, that's all she fucking did. I don't know. So, what did you like, Los? You've been kind of quiet over there, buddy. Yeah. What What did you not like? How's that? What did I not like? I, I agree with your Peggy. Yeah. Every time she would be on screen. I'm expecting for something, something more. It never came. Uh, story of my life. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, no, but Peggy was a disappointment. Exactly like you said, they put in this chick from True Blood. I forget her name. Um, she's and from True she Blood. Just, yeah, yeah, she's, she's the True main. Blood. Oh, I, I recognize her main. from X Men. And in that show, she's like all out, like every episode, like giving it all and then here you just kind of like whatever that's what she does um at, at, at one of the scenes she's like <laughs> <laughs> just fucking stupid bro yeah yeah i, I mean, imagine that's really they not her maybe fault, though. yeah i imagine they maybe cut out maybe some of her some parts dialogue in the movie. Right. yeah some dialogue yeah, this movie but... wasn't long enough Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with the length, to be it, honest. It, it took uh, me like three days to watch this entire movie. <laughs> I yeah, mean, but that's, that's good. <laughs> that's a bad thing. And and I think Scorsese knew, okay, this is coming out on Netflix. People can enjoy it in their own time, their yeah, own sure. way. So I'm not going to cut out parts that I think are vital to the story. I'm going to leave them in there. And No, and everything I, was vital. Everything was vital. Mm-hmm. It was just, I think, it's drug off at times. And I think this movie, I mean, I'm going into things I like now because there was a few things that I disliked about it. Well, one of the things I disliked about it is the ending. I, I, I feel like I, divul- I, I I invested myself into these characters, yeah. and I just didn't get the payoff at the end. Granted, it's based I, on a true I story. It, I get it. I get it. But doesn't mean I got to like it just because it's based on a true story. <laughs> right? Just because it's based on a true story doesn't mean I got to no like it. No one has found his body. No one knows where his body's at. Like, well, yeah, I do, I do know that. I do remember, like, hearing that uh, – uh, like to this point, like Jimmy Hoffa's body has never been found. Like I've I've heard the rumors and the stories of how that is, but um, some things I didn't like about this film. Uh, I didn't like that it took me three days to watch it. <laughs> I was like, God damn it! <laughs> but uh, no, it was a really interesting movie to watch. Uh, really good. I mean, really well done, especially with the conversation pieces that they had here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the CGI, I thought it was really well. Uh, I didn't understand yeah, I why it. they gave Robert De Niro blue eyes and why it was so like fucking right? super that didn't obvious. Make sense. Like they, they added, no, no, no. added that to him. It was like super it, obvious. I never, I didn't notice it throughout the whole movie mm-hmm. until the very end where I'm like, oh crap, this was blue eyes, <laughs> bro. I didn't notice it uh, throughout wait, the whole wait. movie. You know, there was one thing, one more thing. I mean, this movie is pretty good, but there was one more thing I didn't like. It's so whenever he's like on the phone. Uh, 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 yeah, it's because uh, 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 Jimmy, uh, 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 he'll be back. Uh, uh, uh. I'm like, bro, fucking <laughs> say what you're going to say. Every time he was on the phone, he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, I paint houses. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, Look, like <laughs> some of the things I like, I, I really did like the set pieces where my, my favorite conversation was with Al Pacino and um, Joe Pesci. They have that conversation like. He was like, what's my fucking union? And I'm like, bruh, like, it was such a good scene. Like, you were like, bro, like, why are you going, you know, you're talking to the man, the main mafia man, and you're over here acting like something is yours when it was just Mm -hmm. given to you. Mm -hmm. So that was one of my favorite scenes. Another thing that I like was the music. Mm -hmm. Uh, The music, once again, outstanding. It flows very well throughout the movie. Mm -hmm. Um, And and surprisingly, um, what I liked was... 
I think the way it was re reality based, like he survived and then he was left with nothing. And the and the movie portrays that very well, mm -hmm. where he's buying his own like funeral stuff because mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a great way of like showing his rise to power and fame. And he has these outstanding, lavishing dinners and his name. He gets these rings, and then at the end, he's left with. <clears throat> buy his own you know coffin i mean but that's like their their lifestyle i mean honestly when people yeah. I, i feel like when people do that like for example people that like they're high level like drug dealers uh, uh assassins like real life situation type of people I, i don't they don't do it for the money i mean they do it because that's that's who they are like like you can pay them like ten dollars or a hundred thousand dollars they'll do it And like it, it, they did portray that very well, especially like the, the way at the end where he still wouldn't like you know talk to the cops and stuff, no yeah. matter what. It, it, again, it wasn't because of the money; it was because that's who he is. That's how he was built. Yeah, and I mean that's a good thing I liked about it. This movie is very. Um, it's not. It's not. I don't think it's an uplifting movie in any way. No, or, or does not. it no. endorse it like endorse mob life? It's just basically telling you the story of this dude, how he was, because he starts off in a in, in, in an old folks home. Yeah. So you already get the idea. So I, I do like that part. But what did you like, Los? Um, uh, like just like you said, I mean, the main thing about this movie, I think, is the characters, the mm -hmm. the relationships, the yeah. interactions, the the lines. I mean, uh, a lot of like. I, I can already see a lot of the um, the lines in this movie becoming part of pop culture because they're just that good. Um, mm -hmm. Like, see, you know, having Al Pacino, Joe Pesci uh, on the same screen is just just good to watch, right? Uh, yeah. In the same scenes, uh, Robert De Niro. I mean, so it, it, it's a class act in the way of these uh char the way these characters were made mm -hmm. how they were acted upon and their interactions between them um that's where this movie shines uh is straight up because you're right there's not really a lot of action although there's some pretty cool glory spots in the movie oh, yeah. which i also like that every every one of those like crimes i guess you could say i just like hell yeah i just ate that shit up right <laughs> um I really like those, but you're right. There's not a really a lot of action. It's really uh, the interaction between these characters, and that's to me is the highlight of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit drawn out, but I kind of wanted to see more interaction. I, not, I, I didn't mind seeing the the extra lines, the extra scenes between these characters because I just yeah. like them that much, you know. Yeah. I, I I think we can't give a very good review because if we did. It would just be a long review. You'd have to cover, like. No, no, no. We don't want to go back and retrain the whole story, but yeah. you know, we want to. That's uh, we want to the... give you the, our our point of view, our, our mm -hmm. opinion on it. It's yeah, yeah. I to me, it's a good watch. I'm not gonna say it's a like Goodfellas to me is the best, along with The Departed, uh, one of the best Martin Scorsese movies. Well, <laughs> Goodfellas to me, just the pacing of that movie is so good, and you're yeah. getting it in a not and that literally half less than half the time that you are of this movie yeah uh just good is so well paced so well narrated correct uh, the characters are also i mean you fall in love with that fool uh you root for him yeah even though he's a criminal and same in this movie i mean you 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 know you're rooting for jimmy hoffa you want him to get past you want him to gain control actually of jimmy movie. hoffa annoyed me Yeah, he really did. Really? I was like, I he was like, this food needs to Certain go. parts he did. Certain parts he did. I'm like, bro, he was like, well, 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 you know, you need to apologize to me. You can't show. Like, man, shut the fuck up. You sound like, and you sound like a so boomer. Cool. <laughs> you know, I like uh, what's his name? Uh, the little man. What's his name? The I forgot man. his name. Yeah, he's like, I don't want. I'm not gonna apologize to the little man. Oh little yeah, yeah, his his uh, his like rival, I guess. Yeah. yeah, oh man, I love the actor and the uh, the character so Tony Pro. So brash. No, Tony, Tony was, Pro. No, Tony, Tony Pro. Pro was the main crime boss. No, Tony Pro was the other guy. He was like his his rival, yeah. the little man. Tony Pro, man, uh, to me, 
that's probably my favorite character in this movie. Because he's just so... He's, he's he just, just doesn't give a fuck. He's... Th- yes. Just... I freaking loved it. Yeah. Uh, it's probably my favorite right. character out of this movie. It's... It, it, uh-huh. Go ahead, Elia. Go ahead. Well, no. I was going to just say fucking, like, Al Pacino. Like, every time he got upset or something, I was like, this guy is just doing fucking Scarface, man. <laughs> he always sounds like that. He, he sounds like that character, too, that he played in Heat when he was a detective in that. And I was like, man, this guy, <laughs> like, he's so entertaining to watch, but at the same time, like, man, come on, man, there's more to do. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the movie is good. The movie, mm-hmm. I think, is a good watch. Uh, if you have some popcorn and some time oh, yeah. throughout your time. day, and it's a lot of time, you can go ahead and watch this movie and enjoy it. Um, like I said, if you're drama, if you're into action like Fast and the Furious and all that fake Lit. shit. Hey, you know they're having a Fast and Furious cartoon coming out? It's it, like I said, if you like that bullshit, this movie's not gotta for watch you. it, boy. This gotta is slow pace. Uh, Disney Plus. It's, yeah, it's it's intent is to give you a story. <laughs> yeah, but it's also to his detriment. Yes, it's it's drama filled, it's character filled, it's story filled, but like some people cannot digest this at, in one night. It's gonna take, for example, three days. So uh, that's also to his detriment. I think that's the kind of hurts the overall score of the film. I want to I want to give it a score. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 8.5. I you agree. Know, all the I'll negatives that 8.5 to me seems like a good spot. Yes, it's a it's a great mob movie in my opinion, but mm-hmm. uh some of the there are some things holding it back from being up there, you know, as uh all-time great. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think 8.5 uh, the Departed and Goodfellas are like timeless classics. You can watch that all day. I uh, give it this... an eight, a solid eight. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I expected more to be honest, but I mean, it just looked like he really wanted to stick to the source material. Didn't want to like like strafe too much. From yeah, him. and, and I, I, I mean, that's fine. I mean, and I then like it. you said, he since it was on Netflix, he had the opportunity like to delve into it all the way and like. Him too, like being a director who's up there in age as well, as well as with these actors and, he's with, and he was, hating on the Avenger movies and shit like and, that. Yeah, he was like, he probably like took full advantage of the whole situation. He's like, you know what? Maybe this is my last one. I don't know. I'm old as shit, and so is everybody here. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's let's do this right. Let's do this as long as it takes, and let's get it done. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's a it's a great last kind of if this, which I doubt it'll be, but Joe mm-hmm. Pesci's last, you know chance at being on screen with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. I think it was it was it was well made. I think it was worth it to see all these guys back together again. Yeah, I agree. Uh I I mean I I think it was it, it, it's solid for sure. All right then. Yeah. Well guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Uh we are on Anchor, Spotify, iTunes. Uh this is the Hump Day show brought to you every Wednesday. Uh, keep in mind that we do have our three-way podcast show that pops up every Monday. Uh, check out the, the the previous one with Brother Nature uh, being a dick. With that information <laughs> did, did come out. TMZ uh, exposed. Has been TMZ exposed. So y'all you know, y'all listening to this liberal yeah, media? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bro. <laughs> this is shout, to liberal shout, media. Hey, and you know what? Shout out to that guy. He went ahead and he got on and he yeah. gave his side of the story. Brother Nature, but anyways, that ass with me. Anything you guys want to add? Uh, nope. All right. Uh, well, thank you so Gary. much. What? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. That's Peace. our review. Bye. Uh, Bye.